I uh, have been asked all day long if we have done various interviews and stood with members of the press how this feels. And I'm sure that some of you will ask me that. And I think the typical anticipated answers are, what a celebration, this sure feels good, this is a wonderful thing, but it's really quite different than that. The last time I felt as I felt today was when I was given command of a military unit going in harm's way. It's an incredible sense of responsibility. And that sense of responsibility was heightened by sitting there listening to the very sobering news that is coming into Washington. We are not going to go on vacation. And my staff will literally be working around the clock. We will have someone on duty 24 hours a day for the next six months. And that's not an exaggeration. I need to be able to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and be briefed on what has happened in the financial markets in Asia and in India and in Europe and to know what the word is coming from Iraq and Afghanistan. Because we know now, after having gone to freshman orientation, that the work days will start early, they will go late, and we will be as tasked as we can be just to keep up with a very highly motivated, aggressive, positive, issue-oriented administration. So uh, if any of you have friends or relatives who work on my staff, kiss them goodbye. <laughs> uh, if you thought it was a lot of work getting here, it's only begun. And I, and I say that with a smile, but remember I spent 24 years in the military. So it's a smile with a purpose. You can't get to this elevated position without understanding something very, very basic. This election is not about Eric Masson. It has never been about Eric Masson. This election is about the stewardship of a high federal office. And regardless of how long I'm honored to hold that office, I am only a caretaker. And others will follow me as I have come behind others who have been before me. The question is, what do we do with this office? Do we return the House of Representatives and make it the people's house, or do we continue business as normal? There's winds of change blowing in Congress. We get it. They get it. Listen to me say we. <laughs> it's a tremendous transformation, and I would have loved to have a big celebration on election night when all the emotions were running high and the champagne corks were popping, but I made a decision, um, not unlike many of the decisions I'm going to have to make, that sometimes the right course of action is the harder course of action. Uh, it was very, very difficult to sit back and demand that every absentee ballot get counted, even though in my heart I was certain of the outcome, as many of you were. We're going to face that in Washington. It, it, we will have very tough decisions put in front of us. And I'm going to need all of you uh, to be as active and as committed to civic government as you have been to creating civic government. So I'm going to end my thank yous by asking you to go to work. Barack Obama told each and every one of us that we were very honored and very lucky to be elected. And now it's time to roll up the sleeves. And that is not just true for your representatives. I think it's true for every American. If we are going to turn this country around, if we are going to do the hard work that has to be done, run for public office, go to your town hall meetings, participate in your local government, go to the school board, get involved, get active. Don't anticipate that it's going to happen without you. The election was not the end, it was just the beginning of the end. And so that's kind of a dampening on spirits, but imagine not being able to say that. Imagine being in a country where no one challenged you to sacrifice. Imagine what this administration has been like for the last eight years. <laughs> we can't continue down that road. It's going to be all of us. I have friends who are in the military here tonight. I spent 16 years at sea on a ship. When you're on a ship and you're with your shipmates, you're literally all in the same boat. And we are. <laughs> and we are. The problem that our ship faces is hit by a couple torpedoes over the past eight years. And we've taken some heavy damage. And now it's up to all of us to repair it. Thank you. I don't have in my limited vocabulary the words to express how grateful I am. I say that heartfelt with a, a smattering of emotion. Uh, I look forward to being as accessible as is touch and perhaps as demanding. <laughs>
as an incumbent as I was as a candidate. And tonight, uh, let's just share the fellowship of the moment. Good health to you all. God bless. God bless this great country.